Oh. Steady, come here. All right. So it begins. It's about six o'clock p.m. Sprinkling. Sydney, need an adjustment. Make sure this thing's evenly distributed. Yep. Deer Lake right down there. Cool little camping spot right over here. I camped here last, I think August it was. Picnic table, get back your car in right there. There's Deer Lake. Well, it's getting pretty dark in the camping area at Coltis. And it is wet and muddy, but there's definitely plenty of spots. There's Coltis Mountain. Here's the beach. We're gonna keep scoping out, trying to find the driest spot we can. Spots under the trees. So this trip is for <laughs> the diehards. Try and learn what it's like to be in the extremely wet, rainy conditions and tuck in. So there it is. Not perfect by any means, but the ground is actually dry under my tent. Walked up and down the shoreline over and over again. Found a handful of spots that are as good as that. Big old tree that fell down. There's a picnic table underneath there too. It didn't fall last night, it was already down when we got here. It's so funny when she's out here, she always likes to be in the distance. <laughs> Go get him, Sydney. All right, day two on the trail. Took us till 11 to get going, but it was nice and relaxing. Look at all these trees. At least it left a lot though, you know. Yeah. So a lot of times they'll just... Uh, Imagine this was your trail right here. <laughs> trying to get through this. Yeah. I've been on... Lost the trail. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Yeah, somebody worked their ass off clearing yeah, this. Yeah. Thanks, volunteers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hasn't been one drop of rain the whole hike so far today. Better knock on some wood. <laughs> well, that piece of real estate needs some flood insurance, I think. Yeah. So this is Muskrat Lake. Story behind this shelter, I believe, is a trapper had this and he kept trying to beat this beaver. And eventually beaver just won and he abandoned it. <laughs> <laughs> the plan. There's a beast across the trail. A lot of down trees on this Winnipeg <laughs> trail. Oh. Neat little bog area. Not bad. Trail's taking us here. This is Snowshoe Lake. Ooh, like this wow, this is a nice one. Yeah. Oh. 
Ooh, wow. Yep. Snowshoe yeah, Lake. Right on the, uh, yeah. So there's about, there's one. Really just two really good tent spots. Everything else is pretty uneven. So good to know. Okay. A little further down is a couple more spots. So. Would it be right on the trail? Yeah, if you remember over there, so you probably get like, I don't know, six or seven comfortably. There's another spot right over there, it looks like. All right, so this is Snowshoe Lake, and then we're heading up to uh, either upper or lower Snowshoe Lake is next. Definitely could use some brushing on this trail. Just getting yeah, you bring your machete. Wet. Yeah, need some sickles. Kind of a neat area. We're right upper snowshoe lake is right there. We're trying to find a spot that goes down to maybe a beach or something and have lunch. Stuff is thick. Thick. And I am wet. A little bit wet. Upper snowshoe lake. Haven't seen any camp spots. This one's just real brushy, but cool lake. Well, we made it to the PCT. And it's interesting, this little lake pond here, definitely a spot for through hikers to camp, isn't even on the map. I don't understand. It's kind of weird. We just passed a bunch of other lakes that have names, and this one's not even on the map. It doesn't even show a lake on the map. <laughs> Final stretch up on the saddle here. Make Lake is right over there. Started raining about half hour ago. If I can see it. Yay! I made it to Mink Lake. We are going clockwise around it so far. Lakeside Trail, it's called. Mink Lake Trail goes the other way. Somebody described this on all trails as a really beautiful reminding them of a miniature Waldo Lake. We'll see for ourselves shortly. Hopefully there's some camping. It's not like this the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. All right, so we passed one spot we could camp, which is right there. Kind of see a little peninsula dirt up there. It just doesn't oh, yeah, have much of a view. It's just kind of this cove. So we're gonna continue on around that peninsula over there. And see what we find. All right, we pushed on to the next peninsula and this one looks like a dandy. can see the whole lake from this area. Oh yeah, easy access to the water. So that cove is back over here where we came from. That's east, so that's back to the car, is that away? Car number two. There's the west side of the lake. Cool, this'll work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's camp. Took my boots off and insoles out, tried to dry them off, dry them out, but need a fire. So, we got some wet ass feet tonight. Beautiful. It's not quiet, it is. You can see the top of South Sister over there. Blue skies, happy Sunday. The wind is blowing from the east, so interesting. Time to pack up and get out of here. I'm trying to dry out my socks a little bit. <laughs> my shoe liners.
what Sid is doing over there. <laughs> Eating some grass, some bear grass. South sister. Beautiful morning. Packed up and on the trail about 9.15. South South sister's got a definitely a dusting of snow on it. Yeah. There's where we camped. Mink Lake. God, it's beautiful. Clear, clear, clear. And we have made it to Porky Lake. Pretty woodsy shoreline, but we're gonna turn we're not gonna hang out here, we're gonna keep going, but I think there's a camp spot on their side, looks like, maybe. Cool. There's a trail right here, it's weird. Nice little mega bloom in here. Close to Cliff Lake 2020, so come back in 2027. There'll be another mega bloom. This Cliff Lake trail is pretty cool. You climb up over this big rock pile. It's not marked at all. Oh, there's a camp spot right here. And Cliff Lake. squeeze a tent in there one here so one back there for sure two three four five six we'll go with six maybe even seven but six comfortably cool Came from that way. This is now the PCT, Porky Lake Trails, where we came from. Cliff Lake is right here. It's right off the PCT. What's, uh, oh. First coming from the, cool little spot. You know, if you're, you're, you're you know, going up to South Sister. Yeah. When you first get to Moraine Lake, uh, cool. You know, Camp spot we found by Doris Lake. Wow, look at Doris Lake. Oh, there's people. Oh, there's a bunch of people down there. Bunch of them? Yeah. Wow, this looks amazing. Glassy. Holy cow. Doris Lake. Beautiful. You could camp right here. You can't have a fire within 100 feet of the water. So that's interesting and good to know. Plenty of spots to camp though right there. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous lake. Oh, look at this little camp spot. Sydney. Dang. I think she's down by the water, probably. Yeah, 
Hello. <laughs> yeah. This is a sweetie. You can see Mount Bachelor. Oh, there's the south. Uh, broken top. Cool. My shoelace broke and my shoe's about to fall off. So, oh, there's South Sister. Very cool. We didn't bother stopping at Blow Lake. There's just too many people there. There's not really much to see. You can hear the highway, so we must be almost back to Six Lakes Trailhead. Nice. Finishing this up, we did uh, two and a half miles the first night from Deer Lake to Coltus Lake. Camped in the rain. <laughs> and then uh, over 11 miles yesterday from Coltus to Mink. Beautiful spot, of course. And then today we did a little over nine miles, nine and a half maybe, from Mink to uh, Six Lakes Trailhead. So we parked one car at Six Lakes Trailhead, and then we'll shuttle back down to Deer Lake and pick up my car. Awesome time. Thanks for watching.